All right, good morning. It's about six o'clock. Um, today is Tuesday. We do have home deliveries today, and so I packed most of the orders, but I got one more small order to pack, and then um, I do need to pack all the eggs. So I'm going to do that now. So I got everything packed. Um, we've only got five orders today, so Lace is actually going to run those <clears throat> this afternoon for me. So I'm just going to look up all the addresses real quick and give her a um, just give her a route so that she's good to go this afternoon. All right, she should be good to go for this afternoon now. All right, so it's now about quarter to seven. We're all good to go for deliveries this afternoon. We well, actually had six orders. So, like I said, Lace will do that. I'm home today from work. Well, I'm working from home. The school went remote this week, so I decided I'd just stay home and work, and so she'll do deliveries. I'm gonna go run around this morning and do the chores, and then I think I'll have a little bit of time to work on those broiler cages. bit dark in here. That's better. So in the morning time, since there's only 75 birds in here, they don't go through the feed as quickly and they don't go through the water as quickly. So just checking to make sure they all look good. We look happy. All right, now we'll go feed and water the broilers and let the hens out. And then I think we'll have some time to do a couple small projects. Just need to get um, some tools. Drill bits mainly. All right, the chores are done. Uh, they got feed, they didn't really need water, so I skipped that and we'll top that off tonight. Um, and so I've got about an hour before my official work day starts, so I still gotta eat though. So we're gonna spend, I don't know, 30 minutes or so doing just a couple little things on these cages. Most of the stuff has to do with these two middle cages because those are the new ones. Um, they have an eye bolt here on the front, which I attach the, um, whatever this is the pull rope the wire to pull them and then I can also put in bolts here to stake it down if it gets windy but I only put them on the fronts of these two cages so I need to go ahead and install them on the back of the cages too All right, we'll just do that three more times. But anyway, we're just gonna use the old piece of hose for the handle. And 
then we'll just tie it on here. We'll just tie it loosely this first time just to make sure it's the right length. It's a little long, so we'll tighten it up. Seems good. It looks like we'll have just enough to do this other side. All right, then now that I got those hooks on, well, those eye bolts on, the next thing I can do is install this uh, rope here. I just got this little attachment that fits in the channel lock, and um, it's just keeping this from flapping too much in the wind. So when it blows wind, those will like fly up all the way. So that's just there to keep that um, from doing that. So I still need to do that on those two middle cages, and I couldn't because I didn't have anywhere to tie it into yet. All right, before I do that, I actually want to go ahead and take off this plastic. I put this on here in the summertime just to provide more shade. Uh, but now that it's getting cooler, it'd be nicer to uh, have more light coming in since the days are shorter. It will give them more heat during the day and also um, let them have a little bit more light in the morning and the afternoon. Anyway, so to do that, I need to take off uh, this wiggle wire on this one side pull the plastic out, then reattach the wiggle wire, then I can put those cords on. All right, well, I got them installed, and I went ahead and rolled up the sides today since it's going to be pretty nice, and so they look good. Um, it's almost 8 o'clock. Uh, eight's when the work day, my work day officially starts. So I'm gonna get back up to the house, eat something, and then get started on that. And then hopefully this afternoon, um, I can do a couple more things on those cages. All right, it's lunch break time. So I'm just gonna go out and check on the broilers real quick. Um, they shouldn't need anything, but we'll just make sure they got water, make sure the waters are working, and make sure they got enough feed for uh, the rest of this afternoon. They look like they're doing good. All I did was dump out their waters, make sure it's clean, and they seem to be doing good. It's a really nice day right now. It's sunny and warm, but there's also a nice breeze, so it's just really good weather for those birds. They seem to be doing pretty good. All right, back to work. All right, it is a little after four. I'm done with work. Um, Lace is out doing deliveries and so the kids and I are gonna go uh, do the chores and then the plan is to work till it gets dark and then we'll go get dinner but that should only be about an hour and a half or so the kids are in the back somewhere maybe not All right, we got them fed and watered. So, we're just gonna load some feet up for the broilers. Well, I wore out the legs on, on one of the legs on the tripod, so we'll see how the rest of this goes. But we're gonna work real quick on this hose and then do try to start on some more stuff on the cage. All right, so this is all the hose we run down to the broiler cages to water them. And this connection right here has been leaking for about three weeks, so I bought a connector for it. So we're gonna install, take this one off and install this one and hope that doesn't leak as much. Watch out. You're, you're kind of in my video. 
it's okay. I'm gonna say that's good. Look good to you? Alright. Hey, when they come up with you that high, you can see them better. Alright, the other thing I want to do on these cages is I've got these sides that roll up that can roll up and down, and I want to put kind of an L handle here so that's a little easier to roll up and then also easier to secure because um, with just the pipe sometimes this slips off or whatever so I'm going to experiment with that a little bit and see if I can't get something to work. I forgot on this first cage um, I had ran out of these clips which clip the the plastic to the PVC and I had put in just some pieces of hose with some screws in them so I'm going to take those out real quick and replace them with these clip-on pieces. Alright, so this is what ended up with just at the end of this. So the idea is it'll be easier two hands, but this will help just kind of roll it up. And then we got this bungee that can just hook over like that. And it'll keep it up. So hopefully that'll be a little easier. I also notice when I put on these strings, it doesn't fall down all the way, so I'll kind of, well, maybe it doesn't matter that much. It'll help roll it down, so. I only got the one done. It's starting to get dark. The sun's setting. Lace said she's almost home. I think I hear her. So we're gonna wrap it up and uh, go eat some dinner. Here she is now. All right, guys, well, it's almost six o'clock in the evening. It's getting dark out. I'm kind of in this awkward time where uh, it's the hens have not gone back in their cage yet for the night, so I can't lock them up. But if I walk back up to the house or drive up there, I'm gonna have to come back down pretty quick. So I'm just gonna hang down here for a few more minutes, wait for them to uh, go inside so I can lock them up. And then uh, that's probably it for today. I, I only got that one handle done on those cages, but I hope to get the rest of those knocked out in the morning. And that'll be one step closer to being completely done. I still have a few more things I wanna do to those cages to make them completely functional. Well, they're functional, to make them more better. -er -er. But uh, anyway, that's what I got for now. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments or cheap shots, you can leave them down in the comments and I will check you some other time.